and a jolly good day to you all. I'm Eris Minecraft Creations, and welcome to my subscriber top 10 special. Well, it's my 20 subscriber special Pokemon top 10. Sorry about that. It's been a humble jumbled mess lately. So, um, to start off, I want to remind you all I do not own any of the Pokemon copyright, and I'm expressing personal opinion only. But, let's continue now. First off, let's say thank you so much for subscribing. 20 subscribers is sweet! And I can't wait till we get to 30, 40, and upwards into the hundreds. And, uh, but yeah, that's about it uh, for the beginning, and let's get started. So this is my Pokemon Top 10. Number 1, if it will decide to go. Thank you. Charizard. Now, the reason Charizard is number 10 on this list is because even though I've played many Kanto, uh, Kanto region games, I haven't had as much experience with Charizard to grow a uh, high enough affection for him to rank higher on this list, but he's still one of my top 10 nonetheless. He's been a classic forever, first fire type starter ever, and he... The fire type starters have always been a fan favorite, and Charizard, I think, set off a great basis for all fire starters to uh, try to live up to. Plus, I mean, Ash Ketchum had him, so of course he's going to get instant stardom for just that. And with the new release of X and Y and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, these games, they introduced a new mega evolution. And so, up on the top, in uh, top right is Pokemon X Mega Evolution, and on the bottom left is Pokemon Y Mega Evolution for Charizard. Now, I love them both, I don't really have a favorite, but if I had to say which one I liked more, Mega Charizard Y uh, wins just that one vote over X. Let's go on to number 9, Fralligator. Now, I've always loved Johto Pokemon, they've always been so awesome, but this guy, he really makes it even better. He is a giant crocodile. Um, this is all I have on Fralligator. I couldn't find anything that was, like, game uh, pictures, so... But yeah, Fralligator's always been awesome, I've always loved him, and uh, generally, he's just a cool water-type starter. And, uh, I choose him every time, uh, the only reason I wouldn't is because of Typhlosion, but Typhlosion sadly didn't make it onto this list. Number 8, Aerodactyl, or Aerodactyl. I don't know how it's truly pronounced, but I'm gonna say Aerodactyl. Now, Aerodactyl was an amazing Pokemon from the start, a single evolution fossil Pokemon from the old Amber Fossil, originally in Johto, I believe, and, um, in the new Pokemon X and Y, along with a lot of other Pokemon, including Charizard, he got a Mega Evolution. And uh, that Mega Evolution turned him even better, bigger, badder, and more epic. And so, the fact that Aerodactyl was a rock flying type was really the biggest thing that confused a lot of people. But being that he didn't have a lot of weaknesses, uh, even to Lightning. And so, it didn't null and void Lightning, but, uh, or Electric type moves, but it did uh, help him out a little bit. Uh, and he also guest starred uh, in the Pokemon movie Heroes, uh, with uh, Latios and Latias as a revived evil fossil. Now, I'm not sure if the size of the Aerodactyl in that show is actually accurate with the actual size, but nevertheless, he's epic, and so he made it onto this list as number 8. I had to go back because I forgot. Um, number seven, Metagross. I love Metagross. He's been awesome ever since the beginning. He is a, uh, Hoenn-born Pokemon. Uh, and I love Hoenn. My favorite region, no, no chance that any other region could be my favorite because Hoenn, all-time favorite. And Metagross really, really made that even better because for Psychic, uh, Steel-type, he's really, really strong. And it's not that Psychic Steel types aren't strong, it's I don't usually use Steel or Psychic types. Uh, but 
in this game, he combines speed that steel types don't usually have, and special attacks uh, that psychics have, and really, really makes it epic, and also his shiny form is just awesome. He also got Omega Evolution, which was featured in the new Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and um, they even did a special event, which I got that Beldum with the Metagranite, and um, I fought Steven's uh, Mega Metagross with my shiny Mega Metagross, and it was an epic battle, and I think that they couldn't have done better on the Mega Metagross evolution. Plus, Metagross also had a guest star in Pokemon Destiny Deoxys as one of the main character's uh, friend's Pokemon, and um, it really showed how cool Metagross really was that you couldn't see in the games. Plus, uh, James from Team Rocket had a slight run-in with a differently colored Metagross in one of the Diamond and Pearl series. Number six, Honchkrow. A Sinnoh-born Pokemon. Uh, always loved Honchkrow. Been my flying type many times. An evolution of Murkrow. Um, it's known as a big boss Pokemon, and I can see why. In even though he doesn't learn too many moves, he can definitely be taught a lot of moves. And so, I think he's one of the biggest, baddest flying types out there, in my opinion, that you can get other than Pidgeot. Um, so, I really like him, and plus he's a dark type, I'm a big fan of dark types. So, plus, in Diamond and Pearl, uh, pretty much all the series, just as we saw James as James is running with the shiny Metagross, uh, it's known as Pole's flying type Pokemon, and uh, if you don't know, Pole was Ash's rival in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Uh, number five, Hydreigon. Now, Hydreigon is pretty boss as far as dragon types go. There's a lot of better dragon types, including uh, most of the legendaries I know of. Um, but as far as a normal Pokemon, uh, he really ranks up there with his three heads. And uh, Hydreigon just has such a diversity of moves he can learn. It's actually quite amazing what he can't learn. He can learn almost anything. If you can catch a Hydreigon, definitely do. He will rocket you to the Elite Four in no time. And he was also featured in the Pokemon movie. Black, Victini, and Reshiram, and Pokemon movie White, Victini, and Zekrom. Now, the interesting thing about these movies is they actually included two different versions. One where Golek was shiny and the Hydreigon was normal, shown above, and one where the Hydreigon was shiny and the Golek was normal, shown below. So, I think that's really cool. I've watched them both. They're both really awesome. Definitely go see it if you can. Number four, Houndoom. Johto born, evolution of Houndor. I love Houndoom, and I always have, even before his Mega Evolution. He's just been this amazing Dark Fire type Pokemon. I try to get him on my team every time I can. Plus, his shiny version is epic. It's blue, one of my favorite colors, by the way. And those gleaming red eyes make you shiver in the night. Now, his Mega Evolution has had a lot of controversy in uh, the past, and I think even still now, they were expecting uh, more of a Serbius or a Kerpex. I don't know really what the official name is, but a three-headed dog, since that's generally what uh, Houndoom was created off of. But I personally love the Mega Evolution for Houndoom, but let's continue. Number three, Skeptile. Another Hoenn starter, one of my favorite starters of all time. And Skeptile's really always been fast, powerful, and strong all over the place. And his Mega Evolution, which turned him into Grass Dragon type, made him even better. His shiny form looks really cool, and so does his Mega Evolution. And um, yeah, this was introduced into the games Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. With, um, along with Mega Swampert, whereas Mega Blaziken, well, was introduced in X and Y, which was sad that only he got one. But, let's continue. Number two, Rayquaza. Now, Rayquaza is known as the Emerald Pokemon, and 
it's really hard not to have the Emerald Pokemon on my channel when I'm literally the Emerald Gamer. Now, I've always loved the game. I've played through Emerald a few times. I love it. Uh, and the Delta episode in the new games is amazing. His Mega Evolution really skyrocketed him him to number two on this list. Um, and so that's, that's where I love it here. And his Shiny, oh my gosh. I cannot say how cool he looks shiny. But let's continue. Here's some honorable mentions. My favorite trio of all time, the Regis. Regice, Reggie Steel, and Reggie Rock, along with Reggie Gigas, which was actually planned to be in the Hoenn game, but had to be put into Sinnoh there, being because there was not enough room on the game cartridge for the Hoenn game. Another honorable mention is Arcanine. Always loved Arcanine, and so do the police officers in Kanto. They use Arcanine as a sort of, um, kind of like a, their hound of sorts. Well, before we go on to number one, I want to thank you all for watching, like and subscribe, and let's get on to number one, Gengar. I've always loved Gengar, even though his shiny form was not that much to see. In fact, I had I couldn't do the standard that I was doing on the rest of the episode, where the shiny was with the normal Mega Evolution, because it's so confusing. The shiny Gengar is, of course, on the bottom, and the normal Gengar is on the top. Now, it's not much to see when he's in normal form, but the minute you Mega Evolve him, he turns into this epic ghost. In fact, he reminds me of a much epicer version of King Boo, and yes, epica is a now a word, official by Eros, Minecraft Creations. So, I really want to say I've always loved Gengar, and I've always loved how powerful he's been. Uh, being a dark or a poison ghost type, I, I almost messed his type up, that sucks, but uh, being a poison uh, ghost type, he's really, really strong and good against all sorts of different Pokemon, including Psychic, Grass, a whole bunch of others that I can't remember right now, and uh, his Mega Evolution boosted his power and special attack way up there, along with his HP a little bit, and it really made everything much better. I've even named... Uh, my Gengar's epicness in times past because of how epic he is. He's also known as uh, Morty's Pokemon in the Pokemon series Johto, Johto Journeys. Morty is the ghost type gym leader in Johto. I believe he's the third? He's either third or fourth. I haven't played Johto in a long time, but it really proved how strong uh, Gengar Shadow Ball and how being a ghost type really helped uh, apprehend all sorts of different people. But as that Shadow Ball loops, I'm gonna progress to the next slide and say thank you for watching. I'm Eris Minecraft Creations. Don't forget to smash that like button with Rock Smash, it's super effective. And subscribe to become one of my epic titans. Another top 10 every 10 subscribers. So. I can't wait, and thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode.